All right, guys, what's up? Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today, I just installed iOS 14 on one of my devices. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the whole setup screen to see if anything has changed. Got the iPhone analytics, don't share. Well, that was a pretty simple, quick setup screen. You can see that we are on iOS 14.0. If we go ahead and try to add a widget, let's see if we can do that. So I just long held on that. We got a plus button up here, it looks like now. Wow, would you look at that? Bunch of different widgets. So let's go ahead and add this calendar widget. Wow, looks like you just pull it down and put it wherever you would like. All right, so let's go ahead and add some widgets to this page right here. We'll go ahead and add maybe some series suggestions. You can go ahead and see that there is a bunch of different options for different widgets so we'll go ahead and just do the apps so just pick it up and grab it and throw it right up there we swipe back home wow it doesn't look like that is actually a widget or the widget is transparent on the background that's a little different go ahead and remove that one see what other ones we got so here we go here's batteries that one looks like it's the device. This one looks like it could be a bunch of different devices if you have them all connected. So let's go ahead and grab that one, throw that one up there. So that could be pretty useful if you got AirPods or an Apple Watch or something connected to the device. You can go ahead and see the battery now. If we swipe all the way over to the left right here, it looks like the today view has kind of been updated. It's got a bunch of different widgets now. It kind of overtakes the screen instead of being a screen by itself. So just scrolling through the settings, I don't really see anything differently. Let's go ahead and see if there's a new wallpaper option. So we'll go over to stills. Doesn't look like there's too many wallpapers added. It just seems to be these three. So we'll go ahead and apply this new wallpaper. Tap set. We'll do set both. All right, now that the wallpaper has been set, we can go ahead and toggle on light and dark mode. So that is what it looks like with the new light mode. The widgets also adapt to whatever mode that you are in as, long, as well as the new wallpaper. So if we go to the control center real quick, you'll notice that there are a couple of different options here. All of these used to be grouped up together. Now they seem to be all separate. All of my smart lights and smart devices there seems to be a new Spotify widget. No, that's not Spotify, that's NFC, okay. That may be for the new app clips. That is a feature in iOS 14. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out my latest video on WWDC iOS 14 recap if you wanna see all of the features in depth from Apple themselves. I'm just doing a quick run through of what I can notice on the fly of what is different. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a group real quick to see if there is any difference. Let me see if I can go ahead and just start typing to Ryan. Yep, it looks like his name grayed out. So now it knows that the message is going to be specific to Ryan. I'm currently running this firmware on an iPhone 10 and it actually feels smoother than iOS 13. I don't know. I know it's a beta software, but to me, just from the feel of the software experience, it actually feels like it's running smoother than my iOS 13 was. Oh, there we go. I just discovered app library. So if you swipe all the way over to the opposite side of your pages, you'll notice that you have app library right here. You can go ahead and scroll through. This is supposed to categorize all of the applications on your device based on what Apple thinks they are related to. So if we go ahead and open them up, just a couple social apps that Apple has categorized. I'm surprised that it hasn't categorized these applications as being jailbreak apps. Look at that, Uncover still opens up, just says it's unsupported. If we go ahead and open that up, no thank you. So let's go ahead and translate something. Hello, how are you? So it automatically translates it to Spanish. You can also push play and it will play the actual sentence that I have said. Looks like spotlight search still seems to be pretty similar. I wonder if it has the universal search. So let's go ahead and start typing specific message. 
So it does look like it has a partial universal search. So I can go ahead and search messages for that specific phrase. So let's go ahead and switch back over to dark mode real quick. If we head back over to the wallpaper section, let's see if there's any new live wallpapers. Looks like all the live wallpapers are the same as before. Dynamic wallpapers. Doesn't seem that there's any difference. I think this one might be new. I do, I cannot remember if this dynamic wallpaper was in iOS 13. Oh, here we go. Here is a setting for app clips. So you can go ahead and it looks like remove all the app clips. So my understanding is it downloads 10 megabytes or less of an application so that you can use that specific part of the application. So it looks like they are automatically deleted off your device after 30 days so that they do not take up storage. So that's pretty cool. Now here we go, here's an option for a picture in picture. It says start pip automatically. So as soon as you swipe away from a video. So if we go on to my video and swipe home, it doesn't look like it is currently working. We are playing the video, swiping home. I am not seeing picture in picture working. Maybe the application needs to be updated for it. So we're gonna go ahead over to Safari real quick and see if we can do it on the actual YouTube website. So if we go ahead and start playing my video and swipe home, it looks like it's still not working. If we go to full screen and swipe home, there we go. So it seems that you need to be in full screen mode on Safari in order to activate picture in picture. So you can go ahead and adjust it, resize it. This is now native to iOS 14. You can swipe it over to the side to get it out of the way. The audio will still play in the background. So now there's really no excuse when iOS 14 comes out why you can't just go about your business while smashing the like button on all my videos. So picture in picture only seems to be working in Safari for right now. I'm guessing that the other applications such as YouTube will need an update to support iOS 14's native picture in picture mode. Anyways guys, this was just a quick rundown of me freshly installing iOS 14 on my device. Go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know what you want me to review in iOS 14, anything specific that you want me to go over. Please remember to feed Algo, he's extremely hungry for those like buttons, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.